Okay, let's see. Well, here, how about if I just... I'll just do it this way. How's that? We'll just do it like this. Yeah, you don't need to really see me anyways. Okay, so... My other video from yesterday is still loading. And my disclaimer is, if you don't know tools, and you don't know millimeters, inches, centimeters, and how quickly something warms up, especially plastic, don't try this at home. Just saying. So, on one side, see this is the nice side. The dentist technician guy actually saw this down really nice. But this side was really, oops, sorry, this side was really blunt. So therefore, my tongue is always playing with this side. Oh, and see, this is what I was telling you about yesterday. You see these ed these grooves in here? They are literal grooves that my tongue likes to play with. And then I'm paranoid about biting my tongue. So they're not smooth. See how these are nice and smooth right here? Like, you can't even feel that. Well, a little tiny bump, but it's smooth. These are ridges ridges like canyons and then my tongue gets stuck there because I'm flicking my tongue and then it gets stuck here because this is really a blunt end so then on the inside of my mouth uh-huh it's rubbing so today well I started with my emery board just to be safe and it felt better it felt better it felt better and I thought that wasn't feeling good enough fast enough so then I took my diamond head and I'm just going really soft and slow really soft and slow on the inside of my mouth to get that blunt part right here on the inside of my mouth to not be blunt so I'm sawing I'm filing and filing and filing up and down up and down in circular motions A little bit at a time because you can't put t you can't put the plastic back on your ten thousand dollar dentures <sighs> so just a little by little by little by little by little by little by little let me get my tissue because you know after a while you get used to being grossed out and slimy and shit right <sighs> okay It's not good enough yet. Drummel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now see, I trust myself. See the battery's dying. I trust myself because I have used these for years. Do not experiment on your dentures now. You will hate yourself for taking too much off. And you'll be like, yeah, but Tasha said. No, Tasha didn't say to you for you to try it at home. Tasha just showing you what Tasha did at home. You see how slow that's going? Let me see. Oh, the fast one. There's not even enough energy to do the fast one. Just the low one is working. Which is good. See, and then we'll feel it. It feels a lot better. It took a lot of the edge off. I'm just rolling it really easy up and down so we'll have the same consistency. All the way around to half because this half is fine it's just this half that isn't fine and I'm already out of juice I've been going really really super slow all day <gasps> <gasps> okay and again I'm used to using this tool I'm used to using all my all my tools okay I tried my bead reamer so if you have beads, plastic beads, sometimes glass too, and they've got junk in the middle, so then you take your bead reamer and you go like this, and it gets the junk out and opens it up. That was too slow. That was way too slow. Come in! Hi, I'm Sarah. Yes. I apologize. Apology accepted. I love you. Mwah. I'm fi I'm showing everybody that I'm filing down my dentures. Oh, I'm sorry. I it's okay. People can hear your voice as long as you don't say nothing too personal for the world to hear. 
I'd stop you before that happened, I promise. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. You're not mad at me? No, I can't, I can't be mad at you, you're my papa. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> He's such a doll. Him is such a doll. And now you can kind of sort of see. Okay, no you can't. What is that? Oh, my tomales. So, this guy was killing me. And, you know, that's another thing that I, I'm trying to get you to understand. See, when I put this in, and I do it, uh, uh, in my head, I can visualize. It's exactly 12, um, it's exactly 8 millimeters from the tip to here. So I can't tell you, oh, about that much. You have to figure it out for yourself. But in my head, I can visualize it. And I know from the tip of this to where it hurts is 8 millimeters. So for this one, I didn't use a Dremel. I did just do this. So I just watched a program and I did this for a few minutes. And I filed back and forth just like this. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because that's where it was hurting, right there. Okay, in the picture now, it looks like more like 15 millimeters. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see. Again, I'm not telling nobody to do this. I'm doing this because I know what I'm doing. I did this to my partials when it rubbed on the inside of my mouth see it still hurts a little a little teeny 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 bit and then what I'm gonna do tomorrow after I power up my Dremel again is I'm gonna take this whole little section out right here it's gonna be a nice fat U Because on my partials, I don't have it. I know partials are different. The weights and balance the front and back and all that good stuff. But you know what? By the time I put that damn polygrip in, I mean, I told you the other day in the last video, I put polygrip in. It was in all day long. I didn't expect it to work that well because I'm used to using Fixident. Because back in the day, six, seven, oh my God, 2009, I think I went to Mexico, 2006, I went to Mexico to get my partials. And the poly grip was ooey gooey and it didn't harden to keep the implants in. So I didn't I didn't think I was gonna like it. But Papa gave me some of his um, poly grip. And it worked elegant. <laughs> okay, so I filed that down a little teeny bit and it's so funny you can actually feel where it's where it's smooth now. Right there. It feels like a baby's butt so smooth. But I gotta file it down more and more and more and then when I can't uh, I know it's too much because as soon as I put it back there, but I think it's this. I think it's this. You see the two bumps right there? It's isn't it interesting to know what your mouth looks like on the inside it, that you can't see. <clears throat> so tomorrow I'm gonna take those out. I'm zzz, I'm gonna get that dang drummel and get those things out of there. And then it'll feel a lot, lot, lot better. So this one right now, I've been filing it most of the day. And it feels, it feels pretty good. Now this one is just getting stuck. You know, the dangle thing is your uvula, right? It's just too close to that damn uvula. And I feel like gagging all the time. Then I can't eat. So of course today I ate without my tea. Okay, it feels, it feels a lot better. It feels a lot, lot better. This still has to go. I don't know. I'll probably just put on another movie. <laughs> and, and get that drilled out. <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, it's interesting having to 
teach yourself because you have to really you have to really really think about it now do, I mean do I file this way or do I file you know and for these I don't know what I'm gonna do with the inside of them things look at that each one, look you see how thick and then on these it sees nice and smooth So I'm going to get that file down. And again, I'm not telling you to do it. I know. Just do a little bit, a little bit, and then let it rest. Because you know when you're in a hurry to do something, it feels like it feels good. And then you put it in your mouth and you're like, damn, I took too much out. Yeah, because you can't be putting stuff back in. Oh, again, that's another piece of... I thought I had food in my teeth, but I don't got food in my teeth. It's the damn... Oh, I plucked it out. Yay! No, my tooth is still in there. Because <laughs> you know I get some super glue, right? There's some damn epoxy. I know my body shouldn't be using that stuff. But when you get used to having a smile, you don't want nothing to take it away again. Ever, 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 ever. And I do love my smile. Now. <laughs> now. Where's my water? Okay, let me rinse off my bottom. As it were, thank God I got my little plastic liner here. Okay, let's see. Let's see how that feels. See, and then now, after I finish doing the inside, damn, I gotta do right there. Let me see. Right by the eye tooth. I gotta um, zip a little bit of that off. But anyway, yeah, so it's what, day four, doing good, adjusting. So now, I gotta have a little bit better routine, still eating soft food. Though I did have um, a half a Lorna Dune, and you know, they're, the pressure makes them do like this so now I break that cookie in half and I put half on this side half on this side and then I watch myself chew cuz honey you guys think I'm joking but it do not feel good when you bite your tongue even with dentures it hurts and you still bleed so little by little I'm gonna get it there I hope everybody doesn't have to go through this because this really sucks. I mean, there's other things I could be doing right now, you know? <sighs> oh, well. <clears throat> Time to put on another movie. <laughs> File my little heart away. That's where really the Dremel comes in handy because even this U part right here <clears throat> at the bottom of the U part is blunt. And then you, you, I can't, I don't know if you could see it, see it. Along here. See, this is where it's really blunt. Right along here. All halfway around. And then this side isn't. You can't really tell. Okay, now you can. So, yeah, I gotta get that ridge off the side and then zap the inside a little teeny bit. Just a little dink. Just a little dink right there. But I gotta find it, so... You just gotta go slow gotta be a turtle about it because I can't fuck up $10,000 worth of dentures. 
no matter how poorly. I thank God I can't grade that guy. I mean, even if they are free, you shouldn't be having people's mouths over the whole world all jacked up. <sighs> Leaving shit in my teeth. <sighs> you know? I would never do that to you. If I made you a piece of jewelry and I only charge you $10 for it, I'm still going to make it as well as the $100 piece. I'm not going to, you know, just <sighs> slack because it's cheap. Er. <sighs> so, anyway. Oh. oh, man. If you had an idea, you wouldn't have any idea. Uh huh. Oh, wow, that's great. See, and then now, well, I'll do a little teeny, teeny bit more, but not much. Because it... It's almost as good as his side. It is. Wow, that's great. So, yeah, I'm just going to put a movie on and work on it slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You know? Get that edge off. So, you guys having a good day? I cannot believe this movie is only at 80%. I started loading it yesterday. Obviously. So, of course, I forgot when the computer goes to sleep, it doesn't load. So, I reloaded it. And it's or like 8 o'clock this morning, uh, 10 o'clock this morning. <sighs> this is why I love doing um, the thing on cam. But on cam, you can't see too good. I don't think. On my side, I don't see too good. I got to practice that too one of these days. <sighs> so... Oh, hi. oh, wow. Okay, right behind it. Right, right. Right there. Okay. See, so this way. So on this side, so it's right there. Oh yeah, I see. Don't ask me why I'm whispering, I don't know. Okay. I see it. Yeah, my mouth goes. Mm -hmm. And his bump doesn't seem to fit. I don't know how 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 is it possible that I can get my partials in Mexico and they did such a great job even though I was swollen but even after the swelling went down at least my dentures my partials fit really good and I know they clamped onto my other teeth but even outside of that I, eventually I didn't have those teeth that it clamped onto no more and I just super glued them in I mean you know I could poly grip them in Jeez, whatever I don't want nobody super gluing their dentures to their teeth um <clears throat> I, I don't know how some places can get it so right on. Oh, wow. World of freaking difference. It's like having a sty in your eye. And then you, you take it out and it, yeah. Well, I, I scrape my sty out. I don't just leave it there to go away on its own. Okay, guys. I'm actually starting to look pretty good now. I wish I had small enough inverted drill, uh, inverted, uh, I wish I had an inverted burr cup. You see how that's a cup? I wish it poked out. Because I have a bit, but not with a super duper fine point so I can get this shit out from in between my teeth. Looking like I got food all up in my mouth. Anyway, let me stop bitching. <laughs> Let me stop bitching. I am very, very, very grateful. 
so weird. <laughs> so amazing. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to try to... No, I still want to cut it out. Yeah, This section right here. Those two bumps. Because even on my partials, my partial goes... Like, my partial goes like this. And all of this isn't in here. Only like this much of it is on my partials. And it, outside of holding all my teeth. But see, you got to remember, I got polygrip. So it's going to stay. As long as I don't eat, it stays. One of these days, I'm actually going to eat a potato chip and not have to f watch myself eat a potato chip. I don't want potato chip. I don't want corn chips. I want corn chips. Oh, and Deborah found a really great. We went to um, Witch's Degree yesterday, the Costco thing, and um, there was some non-GMO, organic corn chip with something sweet in it, but I forgot what the sweet was. Oh, it was so good. It took me like 30 minutes to eat that chip, but <laughs> it was good. It was good while it lasted, and I just ate one. Yeah, so I'm going to work on that next. Okay. How are you guys doing on your denture journey? Tell a girl, tell a girl. I want to know. Hmm. Oh. That spot is so sore just from wearing my dentures for what? It's been two days now? Wait, today's the fourth day. The first day I took them out most of the time because I couldn't eat. Yeah, that's got to go. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Love you. Mwah. Bye.